Hello guys, Guy Christian 9 here with Let's Play Chibi Robo! After the last basement filled episode, we got this Giga Charger and now we can finally get set up with the whole recharging process. Oh! And you can probably charge it if you were willing to shell out the moolah. So this is one of the, uh, this is kind of what Plank Reap was kind of alluding to. We have to basically recharge the entire battery from scratch using our own moolah. Say it's gonna take a lot of juice. We can't charge it from the outlets in the house that would spark and that would break the family's bank. So what do we say we do our best to save us some moolah and pay for it from our own pockets? Do you want to charge it? Alright, so let me go ahead and show off what charging works. A thousand kilowatts equals a thousand moolah. Basically, the battery takes as much as 10,000 kilowatts. Unfortunately, we don't even have a thousand moolah, so I can't even do this once. But like you can see right there, there's the 10,000 mark. So we're gonna need a total of 10,000 moolah in order to get this thing fully charged. Of course, there are a lot of, there are a few other things that I have to buy from the Chibi PC first. So I'm gonna be saving up for those first. So don't be expecting me to show off the battery thing for a while. And this is what I was waiting for. See, so yeah, on the second night, as he sleeps, he's going to drop that book. Oh! Hey, look, it's the Chibi Robo Chibi Manual. So if you've been confused up to this point about what you had to be doing and stuff like that, the Chibi Manual is essentially the tutorial for what you have to do in the game. Kinda. So let's go ahead and interact with it. I've already stored this in, in my memory bank, but you should... Yeah, yeah. So basically you're taking to a little bit of side away here, and thank you for purchasing Chibi Robo, a member of the Citrusoft Robotics family. We appreciate your support. Basically there are seven chapters pretty much explaining all different things about Chibi Robo. Now I've probably explained most of this already, but... Yeah, let's just go ahead and like read one of them just to show off what happens. So Chibi Gear. Let's do his own devices. Chibi Robo will seek out Mulan and purchase Chibi Gear using the personalized Chibi PC stored inside the patented Chibi house. There are three kinds of Chibi Gear. The Copter, which we've seen quite a bit already. The Radar, which is the one thing that we haven't seen yet and we'll be getting later on. And then the Blaster. And every time you do um, study one of these chapters, you do get a small amount of uh, happy points. Let me see how much I get after I do this. So yeah, tools. Uh, he is an inventor of such a little fellow who carry around certain objects to find around your house and use them as tools. Using these tools, you will, will find all sorts of ways to serve you, so please do not, try not to be too hard on him if he tries to take something from the last one. Ah, so yeah, you get two points per go. So it's there if you really need it. And if you need like two or so happy points to get started. Alright, now let me go ahead and show off the next thing in my list. Basically, if you interact with, um, let's see, Drake Redgrass. And yes, he's going to do that every single time. <laughs> Tonight we ride. If you can do my signature pose, you can patrol with me. Alright, let's see. Let me get the suit out then. You don't really get to use this suit very much, it's kinda sad. Oh, okay, we got a pose. In order to do a certain little mini-game-ish kind of thing with Drake Redcrest, just pose right in front of him. Good morning, 600 GP Robo. 600 Co. Part 3, never neglect your patrol. So we get the patrol with him, basically. Ah, then we ride. Amazing force shield of forcefulness. And it's not something I would make. <laughs> so basically, what we have to do, just uh, yeah, we have to stay inside the shield. That's basically it. Let's see. Can I um, pick up this plug without? Uh, no, I want to talk with you. Go away. Well, not too far. Right, I want to see if I can try and pick up this plug while staying in the shield at once. And ah, damn it. I knew that was gonna happen. Look the force field, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I think you only really have to do this once, you don't really have to go too far, but basically... Yeah, you can only do this once a night, and you get happy points depending upon how long you last inside the field. Since I just screwed up things rather quickly, I got only two points, but yeah. 
But actually getting off into this direction actually leads me to the next point of business. As you can see, there's another s one of these sunshine stickers. Team Robo. Oh, it's just the sticker that someone put over the cracked window. If you shoot that with the chimney blast, I bet you can go outside. Breaking windows won't make Mr. Sanderson happy at all. Don't worry, this isn't a morality choice. You don't get any pen um, um, penalties for doing this. You actually have to do this. But yeah, basically the same thing we did in the basement. And... Doesn't this really look like a Metroid besides the fact that we're using the wrong arm? <laughs> Yay! Didn't do it, it wasn't me! Don't deactivate me! Uh... <laughs> But doing so grants us access to the next room of the house, the backyard. And right away we're greeted for the chibi door. Now, there are a few things that we can do outside. Uh, most of them we probably can do at the moment because we lack the really the tools and the items necessary to really do it all. Oh wow, another 250. So yeah, now I suddenly have enough Mulan to get um, a charge into the, into the Giga Robo. But again, there are two items that I'm saving up for that needs slightly a bit more. There's a plot of dirt over there. We can't do anything with that yet. I can go ahead and show this off, I suppose. These three weeds you can actually pick up and throw away into trash cans for Mulan happy points. However, once you remove all three, you reveal some strange symbol thing. And like a white block thing. Now, this symbol won't really be important until much later on in the game, so just wanted to show it, I guess. And then over here, we find a dead frog. No, oh god, okay, it's not dead. Uh, yeah, it's stupid. <laughs> eee, she's all uh, dehydrated and shriveled. It hasn't rained recently, and looks like she's really weak. This is so distressing, we have to get her some water. Now this, the two things I pretty much just showed we need tools in order to get that we currently lack. Yeah, flowers. And then there's something buried there, oddly enough. Again, we lack the tool to get that as well. So really, I, I just really wanted to show off this place and just to pick up like a few chibi doors too because I need to get some money. But yeah, I just wanted to unlock this place just so I can have it on, you know, yeah, this this chibi door tends to be the chibi door I always seem to forget when I start hunting after them during the end of the game, so I'm getting this one now. You really don't think about looking back here either, but... Damn. I am really getting a lot of moolah. Alright. Well, that's good, though. I need I need lots of moolah for, in order to get everything. Now, I, there was a frog ring on that swing set there, but I'm going to go ahead and go back into the house because I just looked at my energy and... I'm not feeling confident enough that I can get, get up to that frog ring and get out of here back to a plug in time. And I don't know how much energy the bonus battery really gives you, so I'm not going to take that chance. Or rather, the cheapy battery. So I'm just going to go ahead and just charge up and then move on to something else. Alright, there we go. God, I can't wait to get the next upgrade. I mean, you, you don't think 20 points of charge would be very much, but in this game, during the beginning of the game, it certainly is a lot. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, I was feeling a burp coming on. Alright, let me go into the kitchen. Let me see if there's uh, something I can do in here. Yeah, I'm just really finding something to do. I never, I, honestly, I haven't really planned things out. I'm just kind of doing things as I go along. Uh, let's see... Um, well there's a spoon, but I can't get up to there yet, alright. Yeah, honestly, this is going to the foyer. There might be something in the foyer to do. Yeah, so yeah, if you never know, like, I've never used this entrance before, but yeah, you can enter from here, so... Oh! Oh, jeez! Huh! Alright, so we're already in the next chapter of the game, that's... That's actually kind of good. It means we're progressing right along and stuff. But I guess this happens when you get the Giga Charger. Yeah, Jenny's friend. Tears? On the battlefield? So yeah, the free runners... 
Since there is a person around, the free rangers have to essentially hide because they can't do their operation. So you can't progress with them any further until you deal with Jenny, basically. This is enough soldier. With Jenny and General Sanderson patrolling the premises, we can't conduct our operations. The men aren't getting the training they need. It's not just that either. General Sanderson is being a coward. It's hard no it's enough to make this soldier sick. It's enough for citizens' duty to be a hard boiled example for the troops. If it were up to me, I'd have him court martial. But that's why you're only a captain or whatever. But that's. <laughs> I was trying to think what rank to go right there. Alright, so in order to talk to Jenny... Oh, oh wow, that was a lot quicker than I thought. Come here, Pivot. So yeah, as I kind of showed before, we can't really go too far up the staircase. So we basically gotta go as far as we can, and then Jenny will pick us up and start interacting with us. There we go. Pivot. Oh, hi. <laughs> Hello, Bit. Jenny, what are you doing up? Oh, wait, we got nothing. Go back to your room and go to sleep. Rivet, oh. <laughs> that was a weird play. Night, Rivet. Aw. Chibi Robo! What are you doing? I'm making love to the women. Aha! <laughs> I see you're trying to reach the second floor. Yes, this is what I need, alright. These stairs are a problem, aren't they? There's nothing here that you can use as a ladder. Well, there are ways, but you'll have we need some special equipment. I'll look into it for you. Goodbye. So basically that was the cutscene that I really needed. <laughs> um yeah, just keep that in mind, so Damn, I'm at a loss of words to say. I'm just gonna go back to the TV house, I guess, just to, um, because I think I need to go back there. But once you get that cutscene, uh, pretty much the next set of gears start turning in this game, and um, we need the TV blaster. Well, the TV blaster was required, but yeah, just keep the thing close to your heart. But God damn, what's with me? I, <laughs> I sound really incoherent all of a sudden. Yeah, needless to say, we need that cutscene because now we realize that we need something to go up to the second floor. And there's a lot to do in the second floor, too. Oh! Hmm, what's this? Citrus sauce has been secretly developing an all new brand of Chibi here? Isn't that exciting, Chibi Robo? So, if we actually go to the computer and see what they're talking about... You'll find that once you've bought the char uh, blaster, I believe, you'll find two new items in the shop. A charge tip, which allows the blaster to fire a charged shot, and then a range tip that allows us to shoot a lot further. Honestly, the one you want to get immediately is the cheaper one, the charge tip. This will allow us to start hunting after a certain thing in this game. I'm not going to really be showing you off, but anyways, that cutscene pretty much puts this into the recycling shop, the living room ladder. However, we need scrap in order to do that, and since we haven't collected any scrap yet, we can't do anything with that yet. But yeah, you need the, bla the charge ship in order to get 100% in this game too, so I should just move that real quick. You've upgraded! Yay! So I'll go in and just show off the charge ship right quick. It kind of goes like Metroid rules. Just hold down A after you shot and then... Pew! <laughs> yeah, different noises and stuff. <laughs> but yeah, you need this in order to start hunting after a certain thing. I'll be going over those later. Pretty much in an extra video, I suppose. Like, I'll, I'll probably be saving that for an extra video just because. Or, probably I'll do it probably before that if I really need money. Because money... <clears throat> well, obviously money is essentially become an issue now, so we gotta start collecting money. And I want to get the two um, of those of those last things that are listed in the PC once, um, like, as soon as possible, because those unlock minigames as well, but... I'm probably spoiling a bit uh, much right now, so I'm just gonna be quiet and 
all the dice right there. Okay, they're back to operations, so... Let's interact with them and see if we can do anything with these dice. Because, honestly, I'm not really sure what to do at this point. I'm Tex. Sorry to have the free range of photos last. So you lost it. That has, has to be around here somewhere. Perfect Frisco on duty, sir. Free Rangers will won. And the stars because of the yeah, we've heard this already. Well, maybe I can talk with you. No rest until yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so obviously I think in order to progress I need to get that photo, but I, I can't reach that from here. Or maybe I can get him something. Let me go on here actually and see. Oh right, doy! I can just climb up! Uh, see, the problem with this game is that I can't remember if I can access certain things or not. But yeah, there's the photo that we need, so let's just go ahead and... Uh, that was probably a mistake, and I didn't even make it to the ladder. <laughs> Well, judging about how long this video is going, um, let's just go ahead and turn it in because... Yeah, this is just gonna progress one of the subplots of the game. Hey, is that our photo? So let's go ahead and hand over the photo. We took this back when we were first deployed at the Sanderson house. General Sanderson took this photo. We were full of tomb, Ben. That was before the incident. And we're gonna look into the background of the Free Rangers. With awesome Sepia! We were doing our daily physical training routine. And look, Sarge has two eyes! Holy shit! <laughs> Yes, yeah, all is well in the Free Ranger training area. It's kind of odd that they're doing this, so... I mean, do they even have any muscles, to be honest? <laughs> and of course that one guy's sleeping. That's when the enemy attacked! Oh, hi, Tao. And of course everyone, since they've never interacted with this guy before, they don't know what they're dealing with. Yeah, I thought that that one soldier, he's just, he keeps going with his push-ups. Such a dutiful soldier, and oh my god, it's Tao. <laughs> of course, they're all too scared. Sarge attack! Puppy attack! It's super effective, and he lost his eye. No! Ah, he got the egg! So yeah, that's basically pretty much the origin story of what's happening right now. Nice acting, by the way. Memphis! I know what's gotta be done. We have to train harder so that one day, we win the war against the Great Beast. We need to make sure we never... Lose another ranger in the battle. Man, man, man. Thank you, Chibi Robo. You've helped me remember my true purpose. And we get 20 happy points. And on that bombshell, it's time to end the episode. This is Guy Christian 9 with Let's Play Chibi Robo. In the next episode, I will do more stuff. I'll see you then, guys.